I hate Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, that's a joke. Mostly. Remember how simple the law used to be? Purple guy, killer man, five kids, five suits. It was all so easy back then. Now we have a pink goop that replaces people, a computer virus killer, and a new kid who might not even be new. Or a kid. What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, where we pull out each other's hair over a game where there are uh, purple colored murderers and the literal epitome of spaghettification of soul infested robots that may or may not have lemon and lime stripes. It's true though, the FNAF theorist community is toxic. Luckily, I think I'm in a nice kind of corner of the internet um, shown by all the politeness and the maturity of all the people that we had in the theory live stream that I hosted recently. But as a whole, people need to take a chill pill. I mean, sure, Will will still kill, but Bill will still be Will until we'll fill Bill's will, and until we will, let's just take a chill pill. Obviously, what I'm trying to say here is that everybody is overcomplicating things, bringing things up that don't need to be brought up. But that brings us to today's theory, which is that our protagonist for Security Breach, uh, Gregory, is actually a robot or an artificial creature of some sort that was built by someone um, for some reason in some place. At a first glance, it seems so outlandish. Then you look at it closer and you probably still believe the same thing. But there are people out there who actually believe this theory. Why can't Gregory be just some simple new random kid? A new character with nothing suspicious about them. They're just a homeless kid living on the streets, no family, no nothing. And believe me, I really wish that all of that was the case. But whether you believe the theory or not, you have to admit that there is something wrong with Gregory. In the first few minutes of the game, we are told that Gregory isn't even on the systems. Later confirmed again, and uh, we also find out that it seems like Gregory has been here for the long run. Um, and it's at this point where I'm just saying a lot of what Matt Pat said in his first security breach video. There's clearly things off about Gregory. Um, but why does everyone suddenly believe that he's a robot? I've talked to a lot of theorists and I've watched some people's theories on YouTube and everyone's opinion is of course valid. But one of the main topics that I hear about is the way that Vanny glitches the screen and the audio when she gets close. The screen glitches out like a videotape blinking files, chromatic aberration, something completely unnatural to the human eye. The human eye can never do anything like this. The addition of the glitch has no bearing on the game or the story whatsoever, only to add to the strange vibes of Vanny. Um, but people are using this as evidence that Gregory is a robot. It's sufficient evidence, so let's hear what people say on the other side. Vanny could just be using illusion discs. Okay, sure. But what does that mean for the story? It it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't make anything more interesting. It doesn't give a satisfying answer. And it's a very evidence-lacking hypothesis. The explanation that Gregory is a robot, whether you like it or not, is a far more intriguing conclusion and one that explains a lot more about who Gregory is and Security Breach as a whole. I also hear a lot about this scrapped line of Gregory bleeding or something like that, a cut on his arm. Guys, there's probably a reason it was scrapped. Also, I think it's good to note that in the FNAF books, there are robots who can bleed and there's robots who can cry and there's Fazgu that pees on the ground. <laughs> it's really not a big deal if, uh, if Gregory does bleed and Gregory is a robot. Another counterpoint is that Freddy is unable to see Vanny, um, at least until he gets Roxy's eyes, um, or Roxy's eye upgrade. Um, if Freddy can't see Vanny, then why should Gregory be able to see Vanny is kind of the big question there. Well, as I said before, Roxy's eye upgrade does allow Freddy to see her. I don't think it's out of the question that whoever built Gregory built him strong. And this is something that we should probably move on to. Who built Gregory and, and, and why? 
It's one of the main questions that I've been struggling with during the whole process of listening to other people's theories, and that's like, what is the motivation for all of this? Sure, conspiracy theorists can believe that the, the moon landing was fake, but why would the government do something like that? What would be their motivation? Why are you benefiting? By, by believing something so clearly outlandish. No, no pun intended. <laughs> and here is my struggle with Gregory being a robot. Who the heck built him? What was he built for? Why does nobody in the game acknowledge him as a robot? And what is he being powered by? I would like to turn your attention to the secret sister location room in Security Breach, <laughs> where we see a strange message uh, a, a weird code on the wall. Using loads of really strange but actually incredibly clever decoding techniques hinted at through the uh, Freddy and Friends on Tour series, we get the following message. Break and mend, I built the breath. They hunt now, drawn to life. Not real, still keen. And frit and fraud with thought and zest and jest no blunt woes. Dodge, duck. Flash, shoot, crawl, run, crush the vile band. Cry not, try not, do not hold out, hope, no. Your life, your aim, will save those with soul. This is so poetic and I love it. I'm going to write this in simpler English so that we can fully understand what's going on here. So, break and mend, I built the breath. Essentially, it's a fancy way of saying, I built this life form by breaking things and repairing things, as you do with robots. So you can already see where this is going. They hunt now, drawn to life, not real, still keen, meaning the thing has been brought to life and sent on its quest, and even though it is an artificial being, such as a robot, it still has that desire to do what it was originally intended to do. And frit and fraught with thought and zest and jest no blunt woes, could mean that they are scared and anxious, but the excitement of the achievements won't cause pain. I'm like, honestly, I'm not too sure what that line really means. The next one though is, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty hard hitter. Dodge, duck, flash, shoot, crawl, run, crush the vile band. It is so clear that these are the actions of the protagonist in the game. Dodging security guards and animatronics, ducking and hiding in various places to sneak around using your flashlight, your faz cam, your fazer blaster, crawling through vents, running and destroying the entire animatronic band. It's so blatantly obvious that these few words are talking about the whole game. And then the killer ending talks about the aim. Your life, your aim will save those with soul. Meaning the whole reason th this being is here, the whole purpose of this life form is to save the souls of, well, to save, to save the souls of who? Maybe the souls inside the blob? To save Vanny from glitch traps kind of torment? Honestly, it's unclear. I've heard that people believe that Michael Afton kind of wrote this very message mainly because it's something that he would do and it's literally his room from sister location. Also, Gregory does have a similar look to the crying child and there's a lot of parallels there as Matt Pat pointed out. But I think I do need to do uh, a lot more thinking about these sorts of topics. But I seriously think that whoever wrote this message is talking truly about Gregory. Gregory is a robot. He was designed for a purpose. Maybe something to do with freeing souls. We're not too sure about that. He could be possessed by someone, but I'm not too sure about that either. Actually, I am starting to lean on, on the crying child side. It's just the fact he, he like he's possessed by someone. He, he camped out in the Pizzaplex. He doesn't have, have any record from the Pizzaplex database. No parents, no home outside of the building. Of course, I still have questions, but I am starting to really get the bigger picture now. And um, I think a lot of people are right in believing this theory. Anyway, this is a pretty long video, so tell me what you believe in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I hope that you have a great rest of the week. I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. See you later.